What is going on guys? Skits here bringing you an easy setup guide with Twitch alerts. We're using OBS. Today we're going to be setting up your follower alert, your donation alert, and your donation goal. First and foremost, you're going to want to have CLR browser source plugin downloaded. I'll put both of these links in the video below. After you download it, it is very, very important that you unzip this folder to the correct location. Computer, C, Program Files, OBS, Plugins. Unzip this entire file to Computer, C, Program Files, OBS, Plugins, close it out, and we'll come back to that later. On Twitch Alerts, you're going to want to launch Twitch Alerts. This will connect you. You're going to put your information from your stream in here. It's going to link the two together. We're going to be working with the alert box and your donation goal today. So under alert box, you're going to see your follower alert. Click on that. Obviously, it's enabled. You can either choose to have it a picture up top in the text below, text by itself, a small picture, smaller text. And you have all these uh, customizations that are awesome. Your alerts, the template, what you choose to say when they follow you. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate the love. Anything you want to say, you can put in there. You can choose the text to pulse. Rubber band, Tata, wave, wiggle, wobble. I'm waiting for a twerk option to come up. Image, you can choose your own image, uh, your own GIF. I'll put a great link in the video below for where I get my GIFs from. And then you can also put a custom uh, MP3 or MP4 in here for a custom sound. You can adjust the volume and the alert uh, duration. Save the settings. So this right here is your URL for CLR browser. So when you click on this, you're gonna wanna copy and you're going to open up OBS this is your twitch alerts widget so back on the website if you see launch if you click on this button it will launch almost a little test site right here so I have a blank scene here just for the purpose of this video and under sources when you right click you're gonna to go to add and you're gonna see here CLR browser is now an option so when you click on that you can name this uh, whatever so we'll do follower alert and when we click OK it's gonna prompt you to put the URL here so what you just copied we're now gonna paste and click OK so when we go back to the site now we can choose to test any of our alerts so when you click on test follower alert you can see now that on the test widget and OBS itself under the preview it both works so with the same thing we're going to do that with our donation alert it's obviously enabled the layout is the same text text picture whatever you want you can choose to fade in and fade out uh, the minimum amount to alert so if you want to put it at five dollars so you don't get spammed with a dollar or two dollar donations even though that could be a great thing again you can choose to put uh, a custom message template on here uh, the animation, pulse, image, and your sound can both be customized. And you can also save the settings. With the same thing, you're going to want to click on, copy, paste your URL here, back into OBS, add, CLR browser, donation alert. And the same thing, we're going to paste okay and let's test it again perfect so both our follow alerts and our donation alerts work let's move on to our donation goal Same thing with your alert box. You're going to copy and paste your URL into a CLR browser, but let's make a sample goal. If you go to my donation goal, I'll end, let me just end my current donation goal and let's start a new one. So, set a donation goal. Title, let's do um, new gaming PC. Let's set the goal amount at, let's say $500 and we'll start it at five bucks. And let's end the goal uh, in a couple days. 
So when you start the donation goal, it's going to give you your donation goal widget. So when you click on that, it's going to give you your new URL. And again, customizations, your layout, you can change the text color, the, the bar color, the background, the thickness, the font, all that good stuff. And then just hit save settings. So now when you copy your URL from your donation goal and go back in, same thing, add CLR browser donation goal, click OK. And now we are pasting this right there. Voila, new gaming PC. Uh, if you don't like the placement right here with everything else, all you have to do is hit edit scene. It will bring this option up to move this anywhere you want. You can make it smaller, larger, and there you have it. So how does it all look? Here's a follow alert, donation alert, and a donation goal getting capped out. Hot dog, what's up? Bad gaming, what's up, bro? Alright. Oh my god. Shake that bottle and make it. Baby. If this video helped in any way, please, please like it, comment, share it. Most importantly, subscribe. If you have any questions or need help, comment. I will do my best to answer everything as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Twitch.tv slash itskits and Twitter at itskits. Thanks, guys. Happy gaming.